We saw the officials waiting. They've now been joined by the teams. We're almost ready to go here in Quito. Independiente del Valle against Larus in the round of 16 for the Comebol Sudamericana. That we will mention in a moment, but for now we're underway here in Quito. Lanús get us going in their change. All white strip. Farabelli. Carabajal. Guy a little look over his shoulder to see where the rest of his team are. Gradually they come forward. Carabajal hits one. Across the face, a goal and behind for a goal kick. Carabajal is going to strike again from distance and again it's just wide but this one a little bit more uncomfortable for Monetti who did actually have to scramble for a moment well a sign of how difficult Independiente del Valle are finding to break down this one of five targets inside the penalty area Sonosa whips it in it was towards Bauman, but I think it's Loasa's head that turns it behind. And the free kick gets taken. Well, Sonosa actually went for goal from a mile out. It was the earlier free kick from Sonosa. See Cabral anyway with sand. I don't know if they've sent all of them up, but they'll deliver from Aguirre. It's into the box. Ramirez comes, and it's a good punch by the keeper. Loasa has 15 goals for Independiente del Valle across Libertadores and Sudamericana, the club record. And so far he's been restricted to just a free kick from absolutely miles out. Well, that's a header down. There's a heels for, I think, a handball initially. It's just going to be a corner. It's a long ball over the top that Chavez gets to from Schunke. Chavez heads it back, more into the chest, really, of anything else than... Corner delivered into the box, headed on goal, and we have finally a breakthrough. Independiente del Valle lead. And you can't say they don't really deserve it. Lanús have come here for one thing and one thing only, and that now goes out the window. Richard Schumke gets on the end of that corner, wonderful header. Run at the near post and loops it towards the far. Monetti can't get there and it drops in. Lanus's resistance is broken. And finally, on the stroke of half-time, Belmonte, Perez, plenty of options to aim at. Aschini's delivery, and it's headed away by Carvajal. The volley back in, his miss hit, just floats up into the sky. Long ball over the top, Chavez is in behind here, he brings it down on his chest. Lovely first touch, tries to lift it. And it's behind for a goal kick, well, Round of applause from Martin Anselmi because a minute into the second half and that's the best chance Independiente del Valle have managed. More so than throughout the entire first. Switches it onto this near side for Gaibor. Gaibor crosses from deep. Sonosa tries to get there. It's going to run through for Ashofi. Ashofi's there. Drops the ball back. Chavez with a low shot. Blocked. And only as far as Ashofi. Ashofi with a lovely turn. Across. Blocked again by Cabral. And eventually behind for a goal kick. Goes all the way back now to Carabajal. Independiente start again. Gaibor. Gaibor. Sends one in from deep and it's sliced awkwardly behind by Cabral. Luasa lifts one over the top for Aguirre to give chase. Little to aim at in the middle. Tries to go round Chavez who does well to hold him off. And Cool defending that in the end, Shunky doesn't take any risk with. Gonzalez from distance shoots. Wonderful save from Ramirez. The rebound. Lanús have levelled. 
Lanus equalise here with virtually their first significant attack. Thomas Belmonte snapping up the rebound. And we're all level in Quito. There's a huge amount of space here for Gonzalez, the youngster, to take the shot. Ramirez parries to the edge of the box almost. It's a wonderful first time finish from Belmonte. And it's difficult to claim they deserve it, but Lanús are back on level terms. Unless they're just checking whether there was a foul there on Chavez. Well, a pretty harsh call, I think, in my opinion. And we have now got confirmation of that goal. So we Belmonte. Junque. Carabajal. Another shot from distance. And again, not too far away. That's his third one. And again, Monetti flying through the air just to make sure. It's Fortunately for him, the wrong side of the post. All over the top, could release Chavez again and can't quite take it in his stride. It's still with him in the box. Shot took a deflection, needed Monetti to put it behind for a corner. Diaz just drops it back to Caravalli. Caravajal. Bauman with space to shoot, gets the shot off. And Monetti makes the save down to his right. Cabezas down the line to Sonosa. Sonosa trying to find a cross, trying to find... Well, he got a shot in the end. He's trying to find Ashobi Diaz. Poor pass again from Diaz. Far too much on it into the feet of Bauman. It's quickly won back, though. Here is Bauman. Bauman shoots from distance. Straight at Monetti again, skidding off the surface. Sonosa whips it in, almost puts it directly into the back of the net. The Olimpico scrambled off his goal line by Monetti. And he's managed to keep that one from going out from a corner as well. Well, how close was this? Very. Sonosa hits it into the wall. Straight back to Faravelli, who can deliver the cross into the making up some ground it's put out wide by Sonosa here is the substitute Caicedo trying to get down that left hand side has to go back to Sonosa Sonosa eyeing up the shot takes it on and it's high and wide Sonosa opts against it has to go back instead and this is where they often don't have that urgency it's far too slow in the build-up Faravelli brought down by Perez Free kick for the home team. It's taken quickly. Carabajal. Arce. Back to Cabezas. Tries to cross towards Oshobi. And Oshobi wins it. Surely in stoppage time. Independiente del Valle get their noses back in front. And just as they did right at the end of the first, a header right at the end of the second puts them in front. Jaime Ashobi with the all important goal. It's a wonderful header as he just makes that little dart in front of Cabral. And manages to beat Monetti at his near post. And Bauman's pass is wayward, and that will be it. Well, the veteran Jaime IOV strikes pay dirt and saves the blushes for Independiente. A road goal could help for Lanús, gives them reason to hope as they return home at the start of July. The first shots fired in this Sudamericana knockout stage.